Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Chrissy here. Um, so we've got a full moon, super moon tomorrow, uh, the 14th of June in Sagittarius. Um, so moon in Sag, sun in Gemini. And the moon is gonna be conjunct the galactic center and it's magical. The energy is just magical. It's Gemini's bringing in that beautiful, playful, explorative, um, exciting and excitable energy. Um, and so we have air and fire and the waters of the moon to play with. This is a time of creation and playfulness and innocence and vulnerability and courage. And if I were to capture it, I would say it's about expansion and upliftment. So the whole system is being uplifted. Um, and I'm gonna ask the same question as I've just asked on the Zeta video. What is your deepest emotional need? What does your soul want you to fulfill in this lifetime? What can you access through your deepest emotional needs? And we might have a reactivation of the Scorpio eclipse energy. So it's rediscovering that, uplifting the inner child and encouraging it to play, you know. Um, so yeah, there's a big letting go and a big rebirth going on simultaneously. I'm not gonna to speak too deeply into that. So I'm just gonna do a brief reading. I had an epic weekend, so I'm in a kind of restful state. I don't want to uh, overspend my energy. This week, oh, absolutely. Yeah, first card out, second house, the house of ownership. And again, there's, you know, <laughs> so many readings now we're being so strongly guided to to no longer face out for our answers and to really really turn inwards and take ownership and we're talking about meeting our emotional needs and our philosophical needs with a super moon in Sagittarius and what is your what is your true philosophy on life is it a philosophy that was born from parental programming, societal programming, or is it a philosophy that's utterly unique and might fly in the face of your collective, might set you apart and take you into, well, the, the itch of standing alone, maybe, standing uniquely? 26.8, this is karma. Okay, so this is, it's lifting, clearing and rebirthing old karmas because as we heal ourselves, we heal our ancestral lines. It all ripples through the, the timeline, the DNA, ripples through your DNA. Taking ownership, taking ownership of what your deepest emotional need is. When you know that, you can plant trees in that. You can plant a forest in that. <laughs> and we have Jupiter in the first house of Aries, expanding the potential to initiate. This is coming in on that magical seven. Look at this, breaking the mask open to allow the light of the soul to in the world. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Where you are is where where you are is where it's at, and there's a kind of trying to get over there to get that thing that you perceive is over there. That's the birth of anxiety.
And so there's a moment of tenacity here that I'm seeing, and it might be that you can see a big vision. It might be that you can really start seeing the vision of what you came here to play with or to explore or to create. Come back. Because here, to get there might take some hard work, good old fashioned, and if hard work is coming from passion, nothing will stop you. <laughs> You'll just get lost in the soul of it, the dance of it, the organic, natural creation of it. It's coming in on that 14.5, beautiful. This is the raising of Kundalini, dancing in that swirl. Stay still until you're divinely moved. Didn't see that at the bottom. Stay still until you're divinely moved. And maybe if you're seeing the vision, hold that. Just hold that vision and stay still until the facade cracks and you're inspired to move. It's so joyful, it's like getting access to that which has felt inaccessible previously. <laughs> this, is, oh, this is so the full moon cross aspecting the galactic center. Oh, it's just accessing that. She's standing still and receiving and building in the world. 22 is the master builder. but it's building from void, it's pulling straight from void. So no longer kind of creating the same old thing in what we think is a different way. It's foster your intention for incarnating in this dimension. Foster your intention for incarnating in this dimension. In all of your glory, not in your small self. Small self can support. This is all the work we've been doing to uplift the small self to bring the child back out to play. For this you were born. So it's knowingness, isn't it? It's knowingness and it's trustingness and it's movingness and playfulness and passionless, passionless, it's all of that. Mm. Why did, yeah, absolutely. So if we're talking about ownership, and this is remember you signed up for this, this is not happening to you. You signed up for this. Wow, it's just bringing the light straight in. Be amazing. <laughs> this dragon energy up here. It's having access. What if you had access to all of your awesome? What is your deepest emotional need? And how will that, how has that changed your philosophy? Because we're, this is the wrapping up of the Sagittarius moon cycle. How has your philosophy changed? How are you meeting your emotional needs now compared to six months ago? What's shifted? That's beautiful. Okay. And as I say, I'm going to keep it quite short. So I'm going to wrap this up now. And oh, what were, yeah, sorry. I was going to draw some sacred rebels. Welcome, sacred rebels. Yeah, absolutely. to self, conscious connection to self, to passion, to joy, to what you truly want over what someone else wants for you. So it's going into the absolute lightning bolt truth of why you're here. What toys did you come here to play with? Boom. <laughs> 
seriously this week. Tune in, tune out. <laughs> Find the galactic center within you and just pull straight from the void. Get your glow on. Get your glow on. All right, abundance cards and I'm gonna wrap it up. Mm, I've just got, um, we can sow the seeds of doubt and we can sow the seeds of fecundity. It's absolutely our choice. What is it you want to manifest? One isn't good and one isn't bad. One isn't right and one isn't wrong. It's what the soul wants to experience. Do you want to experience that? <laughs> Science. Instincts are the message from the inner divine. Yeah, wait for the pull. Hold the vision and wait for the pull. Look for the signs. Look for the signs. Not what everybody else is doing. Look for the signs. It's all within. You brought it all in with you. You have the book. You have the Akash. You can access it. Beautiful. The train has left the station. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for being here. Please like, share, subscribe. Welcome new subscribers. Great to see you here. I'm going to leave you with my love as always. And take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye.